Believe it or not, horoscopes were once linked to a serial killer. And no, we're not talking about the Zodiac. What's your sign, Strange Things? Absolutely free, the ad screamed, your very own 10-page personal horoscope. This advertisement was published in a French newspaper on April 16, 1968. All readers had to do was send in their name, address, place of birth, everything short of your firstborn, to receive a custom personality profile. Too good to be true? Submissions flooded in and in fact 500 people received their horoscopes. Urged to reply, many were impressed with the accuracy of their profiles. About 95% claimed they were spot on. Well, everyone was sent the same report. The brains behind this scam was psychologist Michel Gauquin, who had commissioned a profile astrologer to do a chart and interpretation on a real person. That real person was Dr. Marcel Petois, one of France's most notorious serial killers known for taking the lives of over 60 people in wartime France. Petois' story is wild on its own. His criminal calling began in his teenage years and ran parallel to his successful military, political, and medical career. He was a corrupt doctor, prescribing addictive substances, and scandalously having an affair with a patient's daughter, who just disappeared under suspicious circumstances during their relationship. In 1933, settled in Paris, Petois established himself as a member of the Resistance. He promised safety and freedom to those leaving Nazi-occupied France. Well, those who could afford his 25,000 franc fee, about half a million dollars today. But the horrifying details? Under the guise of inoculating patients against various diseases required to leave the country, Petois injected them with cyanide, stole all their money, and disposed of their bodies in quicklime, underground, or in the Seine River. Pitois went on trial March 19, 1946, with a total of 135 criminal charges. He was convicted of 26 murders, a fraction of the truth, and was sentenced to beheading. Yeah, not the guy I want my stars aligned with. Believe it or not, the infamous Zodiac Killer mentioned earlier has nothing to do with any of this astrology nonsense at all. A few theories are out there about his moniker, but many believe he dubbed himself the Zodiac after his watch. <laughs> I'm Sabrina Seek, and I'll be back next week with more cool stuff and strange things.